Now, when talking about picks, you have pick gauge, how thick the pick is, and then pick material. And I think what's interesting is we automatically equate a thicker pick with a stiffer feel and a thinner pick with a little bit more uh, floppy feel. Uh, it kind of gives when it hits the strings. So think of it this way. You know, you have uh, uh, your standard pick made out of uh, Delrin, let's say. And if you get a thin gauge, it's kind of whippy. It has a very stringy sound. And if you get a thicker gauge, it's a little bit more thuddy, right? Because it doesn't give when it hits the strings. But here, I want you to think of this scenario. You have a one millimeter thick Delrin pick and a one millimeter thick cattle bone pick. Okay, you've got these two picks sitting on the counter. Yes, they're the same thickness. However, the material dictates a much different stiffness. The Delrin pick will have more flex than the bone just because of the inherent stiffness of the material. Last week on Acoustic Tuesday, Andrew D, Acoustic Tuesday viewer, sent me some tusk picks, man-made tusk picks from the folks at GraphTech. Now these picks, I will say this, he sent variety packs, different sizes, kind of a, a jazz shape and also a standard shape. And these picks, I was looking at the gauges after I opened them, they come in, they come in white packaging, it looks a lot like this. I was thinking to myself, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna dig these because they're a lot thinner than what I'm used to. I'm used to a two millimeter Dunlop Altex pick. That's what I've, I've played for years and years and years. And the thickest one I could find here was a 1.4 millimeter. And I thought that's gonna be way too flexible. I'm not gonna like it. And boy, was I surprised. And I think in my surprise, I discovered kind of the magic of tusk picks. Again, these are made by the company GraphTech. I believe they're in Canada. And these picks are pretty awesome. Um, they come in three different materials. They have different tones. Uh, I, I, I call them materials, it's advertised as different tones. There's the bright tone, which is the white pick, the warm tone, which is kind of the tan pick, and the deep tone, which is the darker gray pick. And I thought, okay, really? Well, what are we, what are we dealing with here? Is this just marketing smoke and mirrors, or is this the real deal? And upon further research and playing with these, holy smokes. And the thing that really stuck out to me was, although these picks were thinner, now I tried a one millimeter, the material is quite stiff. It has a real snappy feel through the string and it produces a really clear and articulate tone. So if you're looking for a pick to brighten up the sound of your instrument, if you're looking for a pick that really snaps off the string, I would definitely try Tusk Picks. Now I'm not sure of the price on these because they really range. You can get a variety pack with the different materials and different gauges, or if you, if you know of the one that you want, you can get just a, a pack that is just that. But I want you to listen to something first. I, I, there's a video on their website. I'm not gonna play it during the show because it's, it's pretty lengthy, but you can check it out in the links. Um, which of course are available to you at AcousticTuesdayShow.com. Uh, there's a full video where they do a pick drop text, a test rather. And this test has a, basically a, a piece of tile and the host is dropping picks and he's checking out the different materials and the sounds that they make. Now, I don't know if this is gonna come through, but I just want you to listen to this for a second. Here's the bright pick, here's the warm pick, and here's the deep tone pick they sound radically different. And I can tell you that that sound transfers over to the guitar. So I wanna thank Andrew D for sending me these picks to sample. I don't know if they will fully replace my Dunlop Altex, but it is awesome to have those in kind of the tonal arsenal, especially if you're ever in the studio and you wanna just pull a little bit more clarity, a little bit more richness out of your guitar. Listen, it's a great option. So thank you, Andrew D, and thank you to the folks at GraphTech for, for making these, uh, these Tusk, these man-made Tusk picks. Really, really cool stuff too. Uh, to add to your uh, your pick collection, if you will.